This is Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Tusk High Fender Kit on a KTM 1090, 1190, and 1290 Adventure model. Now the KTM 1090, 1190, and 1290 Adventure models come with a low profile front fender. Now that's great for the road or dry dusty roads, but if you ever run into mud, heavy clay, or tacky dirt, this could be a potential problem. What happens is, is that will get stuck between the fender and your front wheel. This could cause your wheel to lock up, maybe break some parts, it's just no good. So Tusk came out with their high fender kit that replaces the stock fender with an off-road style fender that mounts much higher, which eliminates the issue. And they have a great aggressive look. So today I'm going to show you how to install that on this KTM. To do this job you need some basic hand tools, Torx bits, safety glasses, rags, and gloves, along with maybe some contact cleaner, and a copy of your OEM service manual for more information, proper procedures, and specs. Along with our tools, we have our Tusk High Fender Kit. Now this kit comes with everything you need to do this job, along with very detailed instructions on how to install it. First, we need to remove the front fender. So we're gonna take our 27 Torx bit, and we're gonna remove three bolts on each side of the fender, along with these clips that hold our brake lines. Now that we've got those removed, we'll just slide the fender out. Now let's take our front fender and we'll flip it over and we need to remove these clips. Just be really careful with them not to break them because we're going to reuse them. Now let's remove the two 8mm fasteners that hold the triple clamp faceplate that houses the horn. Now we need to unplug the wires to the horn and then feed our brake lines outside the plastic of the faceplate. Now using my eight millimeter wrench, we'll remove the horn. Now we need to save this nut and washer along with the rubber grommet here and this little metal insert. Next, let's take our horn mount bracket and mount it to our fender mount bracket using this M6 bolt. Now for this bolt and all the rest of the bolts, it's not a bad idea to use a medium strength thread locker. Next, let's mount the horn using the stock hardware. Just install it the same way you took it apart. Now, when you mount the horn, make sure to rotate the terminals to the left side so that it's easier to plug in once we install it on the bike. Now, if you're installing this kit on the 1290, it's the same procedure as I just showed you, except for that you'll use a short bracket and you will mount the horn, instead of facing down, you will flip it directly over and mount it straight up. Now the orientation of the horn will be the same as the terminals need to be on the left. We will just bend these electrical terminals down so that they're flat and straight. The next step is to take our two 40 millimeter M6 bolts and mount these on the outside holes. And then take our 30 millimeter M6 bolts and mount those on the inners. Now let's flip it over and take our 7 8 aluminum spacer and slide them over the longer bolts. And then take our half inch aluminum spacers and slide them over our shorter bolts. This is how it'll need to mount up on the triple clamp. Now before we mount our fender bracket, we need to remove these two 8 millimeter bolts that hold our brake line crossover. Now what I want to show you here is we need to mount this bracket with the horn facing out. We're going to take the longer bolt and mount it to the rear mounting hole of the triple clamp and then the front one we're going to mount through the brake line crossover and then up into the triple clamp. Now that we've got the rear bolt started, leave it loose. That'll make it a lot easier to install the front ones. And then when we tighten it all up, just make sure not to pinch any wires or brake lines. Now that we've got our bracket tight, let's go ahead and plug in our horn, and then we will cycle our steering back and forth fully to make sure that nothing is getting hung up or caught and it's clear of everything. Now we can install our front fender. Let's take our four M6 collared bolts and we'll go ahead and install the fender to the bracket.
The next step, we need to take our OEM clips that we pulled off our original fender, and we need to install it on the new fender in the holes that are already drilled. If you happen to break one of these, we do sell these individually. And then go ahead and slide your brake line in it. Now that we've got our front fender installed, let's prep our fork guards by taking our fork guard spacers and pressing them into the fork guards. You might need to use some pliers to get them fully seated in the plastic. Next, let's take the fork guard and the supplied metal bracket and we'll use our M6 20 millimeter bolt and nut and install that in the top hole. Then let's take our M6 30 millimeter bolt and nut with spacer, put the bolt through the bracket, then through the spacer, then through the fork guard and then install our nut. Now you wanna install them from the back side out. Now take your fork guard and let's install it on the fork tube. Take two of the Torx bolts that held the OEM fender on and we'll use those to mount the fork guard to the fork tube. Now you can see that the bracket has quite a bit of adjustability. So if your fork guard doesn't line exactly up parallel with your fork, you can loosen it back up and readjust it. Now we just need to repeat the same process for the other side and that's it. And that completes the install of our Tusk High Fender kit. Now we have the clearance we need. For accessories like these and many others for your adventure bike, come check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com. And remember, all orders over $75 ship for free. And if you like what you see here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve. We'll catch you next time.